Hey everyone, it's uh, Gardening with Joseph again. I want to show you guys what I do when I have squirrels and rabbits and other little critters getting into our garden. Simple, quick, cheap way to stop them from getting in. Let me show you. So here's an example of what I'm going to be talking about. Just get some of these stakes. Four feet or six feet's fine. And then this right here, this is just bird netting. I'll show it to you. <clears throat> or I guess a deer netting, a wildlife netting. Got this at Lowe's. Satisfaction guaranteed. What I do is, I unroll it, and I hook it. See how I hooked it on right there? And I just string it along. Every hook gets a hook. Hook it on all around, all six of my posts. And I cut it, so this is my entryway right there. It's got stuff going this way and then stuff coming from this way. Just hung up, okay? Works great. Then I come along the bottom and I add little garden stakes. See them here? About every two feet, I catch it on the net, put it in the ground, hold it in place so they're not getting through either over top or underneath. Now, this worked well last year. This is our garden bed from last year. We had corn and, oh, what else did we have back there? Watermelon and pumpkins. Now I've got some sweet potatoes back there, some broccoli, Brussels sprouts, then our spinach. Spinach is dead, and lettuce has resurrected somehow. Spinach, er, lettuce used to be here, it all died off, and all of a sudden it popped up over here. Anyway, for added security, add a zip tie, and that to each one of these posts. Works great. Um, funny thing is, see that, that corn, he was outside of the net. I don't think he's going to make it, but uh, she's now back inside the net. Problem was, last year they did get in my net, but they didn't get in the normal way. What the squirrels would do is, they'd climb up the fence right when the corn was about ready to be harvested. I was super excited. It was tall. Um, ears were great. Squirrels would climb up the fence, sit up there, and jump in. <clears throat> so this year, well, I didn't plant corn here, so hopefully it's not an attractive nuisance for the squirrels. I'm going to try and put a lid on top. Same thing, netting just over top and just zip tie it down to the stakes. Uh, since I don't have any tall plants in here, that'll be nice. But over here, when we made our two new garden beds this year, we did it away from the fence so that the squirrels won't hop in. So hopefully this will work. Worked great last year over there. Try it over here. The other thing we're doing is we've covered our blueberry bushes. They just started burying, turning. I had two yesterday and I harvested two more today. But I just did the same thing. I got a stake, I draped this net over top of it, and then I just put some gardening hooks in the ground. Kind of popped out, but anyway, you see what I'm talking about to protect the net, to protect the bushes. So there you go. The thing I'm worried about is this guy, our strawberry tower. I don't know what to do here. I mean, I could drape something over top of it, I don't know what's the best route. So, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. And that's it. Super easy, super simple way of keeping vermin out of your uh, vegetable garden that you've worked hard on this year. I, uh, my last garden bed, as you saw, that's our pumpkin watermelon one. I'm hoping they're not going to go for it. And honestly, it's hard because, you know, the pumpkins may or may not stay in the bed perimeter because you know it'll vine out and go all over so maybe I'll just as pumpkins develop I'll protect each one I'm not sure how I'll protect them yet but anyway so that's why that last one doesn't have any netting it's just pumpkins but yeah there you go hope you guys uh, have success